you know, uh, can I tell you about how we started? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. People here just don't know what skateboarding is. It's new in Palestine, like no one can see it before. It started in Palestine just two, three years ago. There's a little child asked me, can I use your bicycle? I told him, yo, this is skateboard. <laughs> With all the skateboarders here. Say what? You're weird. <laughs> I don't give a shit about other people's opinions. I don't care about this. I don't care. We got the most skaters in Ramallah in this day. I made them. Aram, Adham. Like five? Amir, Salam, and George. Kalkilia, there's two. We have an Abdullah action. <laughs> you know, it's like something different is happening. It's spreading so wide now. Like you can find keyboarders in Kalkili and Nablus. With Lahem, Zababde. Versailles and Khalil. And we became not only friends, we became brothers in, in the family. You know, it's like uh, everyone in Palestine. It's, you know, oh shit. Just all of the three set. Nice. People here are conservative. They stick to religion, traditions. Once you try something new, they just don't accept you. These little maniacs are following us. You know everything. It's like a, you cannot do it because it's haram. You cannot talk to girls. You cannot play in the street, you cannot live your life. <laughs> you just have to work and get married and get babies and that's it. This is the life, they think. Kalkilia is a city surrounded by a wall. The only thing you have there is a zoo, like the only known landmark. The zoo is mostly empty, like most of the time. But once you go to the zoo, there's a ramp just right next to it, next to a football field. No one knows it exists here. So it's just like our secret club or something. And you might have trouble like getting in here from the zoo, so you have to contact us on www. <laughs> <laughs> I started skating like 18 months ago and I just like enjoy skateboarding because like skateboarding makes me feel more free and it's a new thing and I just enjoy it man. <laughs> the first time I saw a skateboard, I didn't know what to do with it. I had a PlayStation and I bought a Tony Hawk video game. I went to try it on the street and I kept failing, failing. But eventually I started like getting some new tricks and then he helps all man. He says like we're building a new ramp over here and you should come and try your tricks and learn, meet some people. Whoa. 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 And eventually here I am. I can run. The parkour is my life, you know. 
And I just use the parkour and skateboard to do something strange and beautiful. I dream to be professional and have a big gym and teach people parkour and free running. When I play parkour, I just feel freedom and I feel alive. Without parkour, without any skill, I'm gonna be like all the people here, just normal people. They don't feel what I feel. Some people learn to accept us, and some people joined us. That's what makes us stronger. Once you get more people, you get more energy, you get more tricks, and that's the dream, man. you have a talent and you just you know express this talent for the world to see the whole world understands who are Palestinians this is my thing in life deal with it man. deal with it man Street skating got hold of us. When you see a spot, you go there and like skate it for five hours straight. Just doing anything you can do in that spot. Take your skateboard, go anywhere, skate it. It's my friend Adam. He's the one who started it all. He met some foreigner, I don't know where. Someone with a skateboard, he asked him if he could try, he tried it, so he got into it. And he told me about skateboarding, he was like, nah, it's for kids. After a week, I asked him if I can skate with him. He said, yeah, for sure. We started skating from there. We tried to look around, like, who skates in Ramallah and West Bank and everything. So these guys came up with us, like, we're doing a skate team. You guys went down. I was like, yeah, we'll meet you, we'll go to skate, we'll see. But when we met, it was like, shit, these guys are gonna be the best in the past time. My friend Brian brought a skateboard from America and we saw it and we start watching from YouTube and learning some stuff. You know, start kick flip, Oli, 180. You watch all YouTube, not only one video. You watch like shit ton of videos, tutorials and stuff. We thought it easy too. What? Oh shit, it was so hard. <laughs> there was like a contest between us. Who does the first all? We're like five on one board. It was so fun. Then, I don't know, it just started. Everyone just bought his board from the USA. Like, I got a board from my cousin. And then we just started doing ollies, and we just got so into it. And the first one of us who ollied the curb, I was like, whoa, whoa, this guy is a monster. Where is he from? One learns a kickflip, you just have to learn a kickflip because the other guy did it, you see? And we, that's how we just progressed together. Sorry. 
<laughs> Tell me about the uh, skate shops in Palestine. We have no skate shops in Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> Which sucks, it sucks. We actually like need a deck like every month, but we, we can. It affects our skateboarding and progression, but we have to deal with it. There's maybe five spots in Ramallah and Brzee, gnarly. We always try to get them, but there's one question in your mind. If I went, did the trick, then land it, I'm gonna break my skateboard. Does anyone have a skateboard for me? <laughs> there's no skateboarding until we get another day. So George and Salam and Namer, they had one board that they shared together. So I think Salame, maybe George broke it. But amazingly, the two trucks are still attached to the deck. So you can skate it. George sent us a clip on Facebook doing a double flip on a broken nose skateboard. Flex a double flip on a broken board. That's good, man. <laughs> Like, that's good. Yeah. All right, we've got it. You, 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 you. This close. This is the last time. This is the absolute last time. Hey, Mara. Go. <laughs> when we first met Charlie, it opened a big door for us. Like the skateboarding scene is getting bigger, it's all because of Skate Pal. Imagine someone board sliding this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Skate Pal's first project was in Ramallah, and we built like a four foot mini ramp. We gave classes every day for eight weeks. There was 50, 60 kids coming. Everyone was just really hyped and the kids were really into it. And some of the guys that were doing that in the first year are continuing skating with us now. Here we are. And we finished Palestine's first concrete skate park in the summer of 2014 in the town of Zababde. I'm really excited to see kids skateboarding anywhere and especially in places where it hasn't existed before and where there's such enthusiasm and because of that you know there's future in the sport and that is what makes it worthwhile and that's why I come back. Oh, almost. So it's very exciting to be in a country at the time where it's just emerging. When you fall, there's falls that get you home, stay home, like two, three days maybe. I've cracked my shoulder once, my knee, my legs, my arm. But the thing is, you try, 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 you fail, 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 you get frustrated. But every time you fall, like you get back on the board, and, like try to do it. Because you know, deep down, if you land this trick, all your pain is gone. 
everything is gone. Like, you landed it. This is actually skateboarding. <laughs> this is how sometimes I explain it. Falling down and getting up is actually part of skateboarding. It's actually fun. Stop it! That ability to just get up and try it again it just helps you in, in, in your life. I'm where we go. Every trick you land opens a door, a new door for another trick. Teach you how to get places you've never been in your mind, in your body, everything. It's an interesting question to ask why kids here are so interested and get attached to skateboarding so quickly. Everyone's affected by the occupation. There's not much for kids to do here. Obviously, people feel trapped, which they are in a political sense, and also in a very physical sense. They can't leave the towns or the country that easily. Childhood it kind of ends much sooner. Why? It's army place. Army place? Yes. The camera here. Come on, just one picture. No. We live here, man. I was in a protest, in a huge protest, in Kalandia, checkpoint. So I was throwing stones, and then <laughs> my leg started twitching. It was like, who just throw a stone at me? It was like, I didn't actually think of me getting shot. First five minutes, I wasn't really thinking about anything. I was just thinking about like going to a safe place, going to the hospital or something. As soon as I get to the hospital, or maybe actually in the ambulance, all in my head was like, shit, I can't skate anymore, mate. Fuck it. Like, I was really frustrated that I got shot in my leg. I said, like, it was like shot in my arm, maybe I could skate. I really didn't think about walking again. If some kid threw a stone at you, why the fuck would you shoot them with live bullets? 250 guys got shot and one got killed in that protest. Every day in Palestine, there's a protest. Not all in Palestine at the same time, but the protest doesn't ever end. Every day there's a protest somewhere, in the villages, in the cities. Maybe getting harassed on a checkpoint, maybe getting shot in your leg, maybe getting fist fight with a soldier. 
never ends. Like, you, you always remember, like, we're suffering from day one till now. It's our life. Getting shot sent me back way back. But like, seriously, I couldn't stop skating. <laughs> we practice everything, seriously, from Ollie, from even just like cruising around the board. Every day, Ollie, 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 to get a proper Ollie. Step by step. After, like, I landed my heel flips, I was like, okay, that's a good sign. This summer, I'm getting back and getting back better than I used to. That's my goal for this summer. My hopes for the future of skateboarding in Pakistan. Just like to make skateboarding grow big. How's it going? And it is actually going so fast. There is a future. Skatepal is planning to build another park this year. The site seems amazing. You're on top of the hills, views across everywhere. It's going to be a fantastic project. Yeah. We can work with this space. Mm -hmm. It's good. So Skatepal is uh, one of the groups who help uh, skateboarding in the country. Like we have a group from Germany doing one in Bethlehem, a group from Dubai doing one up in the north. So we're part of the puzzle that fits all together into the skateboarding scene. Life changed because I found my goal. Like, I found what I'm good at. Once you find that thing that is the most important thing in life for you, you just like get it all. You just like start a new life, man. Sometimes making friends is hard. But skateboarding, you just make friends. All the skateboarders around the world are a family. I'm really proud of everything that's happened. I mean, all the guys have been really involved, and I'm just glad that I can be part of connecting people in skateboarding. You just see that skateboarding is just not some toy or something. It's a lifestyle, you know? This is our community. This is who we are. Now we have skateboarding community in Pakistan. Like us skaters, we're gonna be skating every day, every time, anywhere, chatting the world, we're still living our life.
Falafel! Oh, yeah. okay. wait, 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 wait. Oh, the tea is here.